Hi again guys, DVD here. You might be wondering, huh, what is this kind of a uh, new rail here? Are we gonna hit by a maglev train? Yes, in fact I will. In a few seconds. So, to tell you more about my new script, it will gonna be a part of an add-on that I and my friend Ron are developing right now. Those rails here are his new thing. And the script powering the Maglev train is my doing. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to wire the Maglev boogie and how to use it properly. So let's start this thing. First we go to Entities, then Maglev. Here we can see the Transrapid Boogie. Click that, and it will spawn. So all these here, those are my, actually my sensors. That are gonna define my error here in those six state variables. Here we, we can adjust also the coordinate system so we can see where the forward vector actually is. So if we need to do a maglev train we might need two of those. Here is my fading door rail. So I just need another boogie, like so. And something in between that can make this thing look like a train. To, 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 to guess this one. So this goes there. This also goes there. So you can see the a vector is the blue line here and the forward vector is the red line. That's very important because when you wire the thing up and apply a force on it, it will force the boogie in this red direction here. So that's why you need this debugging information. So we're gonna need to access More about precision axis. There we go. And we just need to put our new thing in the rails like so, then it's done. Now how to wire the maglev boogie, the transrapid boogie. First of all, you will have two inputs, as you can see. The on, which will power on of your boogie. You need this power ton to actually make the boogie work. And the second power is the magnitude of the forward vector that goes with. So, we need a button to make it really easy here. One button, 
and one do input. With eight and two. There we go. And on comes from the thing that you're activating. Power comes from your power. By the way, this power does not have a controlled state match to it, it's directly in the apply force algorithm. That means that you guys need to control the speed separately. And again, on comes from the activating thing and the power comes from the magnitude. There we go. We need to adjust the weights a little bit. Do, 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 thousand. There we go. That should do it. Power it on and it will work. So, how to actually read the tracings. If this thing becomes green, it that means the, the, the trace of this sensor has hit something. And the, the green ball represents the point where it hits. The yellow ball is the actual position of the sensor. And as you can see here, the red part is the part of the beam that is left inside the thing it goes inside the solid so if we actually hit the 8 button it will go forward like so This is our first and very nice working trans-rapid train. So this is not only the scripted boogie, you can change a lot of things about this boogie. For example, the mass, there is, this, there are some console variables representing the parameters of this boogie. I'll provide it in the link in the description below of this video. So you can, guy, so you guys will know what to expect from this add-on. So let's make another journey here. By the way, this thing ha has a mass protection. Um, what this means actually is when someone tries to change the mass of this entity here. It will stay the way you desire it to be. For my case it's 1200 guys mod units or kilograms or what the unit in Gmod is actually is. So if someone decides to change the mass of this thing it will stay in this case 12,000 no matter what he does. The up control is divided by left and right vectors. That means if you 
have something heavy on either of those sides. The gap here between the rails and the boogie itself will remain constant. So let's make about a little journey here. Oh yes. My dream has finally become true, guys. See that beautiful thing right there. Those rails are beautiful. All thanks to my friend Ron here. All this modeling credit goes to him. The other thing about the boogie is that you can tune this customly. You can choose many type of controllers. Proportional, proportional integral, proportional differential and proportional integral differential PID aka. So this has supports as you as I say it a power pit. What this control really means is that each te term can be raised to a power of something that makes the boogie very responsive. Also, you can initialize your sensor separately from a file or internal or a string. Uh, pro also provide those in the description for you how to do it. When the, this whole add-on comes out and when me and Ron publish this thing. So this is only a kind of close-up showcase of what I was experimenting for the last, last couple of weeks. It turned out to be pretty neat. So, hope you guys like my Lua Transrapid Boogie script. Have fun and see you next time.